UNC football team has a big game this Friday. What's it all about? Well, our sports reporter, Ty Hawkins, has all the answers, and he's live in studio with a guest. Ty, take it away. Thank you, Lauren. Joining me today is Gary Klein, a beat writer for the Los Angeles Times who covers USC football. Gary, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, let's talk a little bit about the football team and they're, they're riding this three-game win streak, looking to go for four. What are some of the differences you've seen since Clay Helton took over for Coach Sarkeesian? Well, I think just generally speaking, it seemed like the whole program kind of exhaled uh -huh. once they got through that uh, turmoil. And I think under Helton, he's just become more involved, not only with the offense, he is the offensive coordinator, but he's injected himself into the defense, giving instruction, uh, making his presence felt. And I think the defense has really felt that. I think they've kind of gained his trust. How do you think they got him? How, does, how did Coach Helton get them to buy in so quickly in such a short amount of time? Well, remember, this is a group that's been through this situation before, and Helton was involved back in 2013 when Ed Ogeron took over. It was a big love fest with the players and the coaches and the fans, and I think Helton took a couple pages from that playbook. He's kind of made it a very family atmosphere and really put the focus on fun, and if you're out there every day, you can see the players seem to be enjoying themselves. They are definitely having a good time around. It always helps if you're winning football games. Juju Smith-Schuster and Cameron Smith were held out of contact drills this week. Mm -hmm. What's the status on them, and are they going to be available for this Friday's game? Juju Smith-Schuster, of course, uh, against Arizona, played with that cast on his hand and had a big night, a big long touchdown pass. He will, his activity picked up at the, in the latter part of the week. He will play against Colorado. Cameron Smith, the linebacker, they were concerned that he, he would have a shoulder injury that would keep him out, but he seems to be okay, and he's also going to play. What kind of toughness do you think Smith brings to the wide receiver position? That guy, he's kind of a warrior. He's really showed a lot of grit, uh, even talking to former players like Keyshawn Johnson, a former great player here at USC, marveled at, at his ability to perform. And all those guys, once the season starts, are playing with some degree of injury, but for him to go out there only five days after hand surgery and play like he did, I think set, uh, at least talking to the players, set a real good example, and so they hope to emulate him. Absolutely. One last question. If Helton wins out, beats UCLA, and wins a bowl game now, that's a lot to take right there. Right. How, what kind of pressure does that put on USC to keep him next year long term? Well, I think it puts pressure on them, but I think that's actually the best case scenario uh -huh. for USC. Given what they've been through, they would love to see Clay Helton take that decision out of their hands. Mm -hmm. At least some of the fan base uh, you know, will still cry for a bigger name, but if he does that, if he gets them to the Pac-12 championship game and wins it, uh, he's going to be the choice, I would guess. Gary, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. That's all the time we have for here in the huddle. We're going to go ahead and toss it back to Lauren.